Uh, well, I was a Bronx boy and uh, I loved to come down to Manhattan and I would get on the subway at the Allerton Avenue stop in the Bronx and uh, uh, take it all the way down to 23rd and Lex. I was a commuter, I lived at home in Queens, took the subway, got off at 23rd Street and Park Avenue. Yeah, we all kidded around about the elevators and taking the stairs and the cafeteria. What it really came down to was, it was home. The students at Baruch, for the most part, came from families of modest means. And they all hung together. Uh, the climate at Baruch was, was very alive. Uh, you know, everybody was here because they wanted to succeed and do well. The Board of Higher Education had voted to make Baruch uh, an upper division college business school where you only took your junior and senior year here and took your liberal arts requirements at any one of the other senior colleges in the city university system. And that would have destroyed the school. For most of us at Baruch, myself included, we had no place else to go for a quality four-year education. So with the support of the student body, alumni, and faculty, we decided to lead a fight to defeat this recommendation. So we organized this march on the Board of Higher Education, the parade up Fifth Avenue uh, with our hearse, uh, uh, which of course was marking Baruch as potentially dying if it was going that other direction. And that culminated uh, in uh, a funeral procession up to the Board of Higher Education. We were all dressed in caps and gowns, we got a hearse, I had a coffin in the, in the hearse draped in the flag of Baruch and then delivered a eulogy on the steps of the Board of Higher Education. Uh, it went something like this. If one agrees that Baruch has served the ideals of the founders of the Free City University, it has carried out its special mission to the citizens of New York City with honor and proven success. It has provided this city and this nation with countless leaders in commerce, industry, and public service. If all this is true, we must then ask why those who should share the joys of its accomplishments condemn the school to dismemberment. Will the Board of Higher Education close the lid of this coffin and inter Baruch for eternity so that only a memory of its glory is left as a legacy? Your answer must be no. While there is still breath, life, and vigor in our college community, we will not let it die. Against all odds, we won. Baruch not only remained a four-year college, but was severed from CCNY and given complete autonomy. That was 50 years ago. I love Baruch because it represents everything that I believe in and that I stand for. It, it represents upward mobility, and it is truly, in my view, the embodiment of the American dream. And the, the, the student body was very much the children of immigrants. And when you look today, it's still the children of immigrants. That hasn't changed. The surnames in countries of origin are quite different than my days at Baruch. But at bottom, the dreams and opportunity Baruch provided to achieve them remains the same.